All right, we're diving deeper in down the equations rabbit hole. We're going to stick letters on both sides of the equations this time. Left side, right side, and then we're going to have to get them together and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a whole thing, but it's not really going to be that hard. Let me show you what I mean. Let's do two examples, I think. We're going to start with example one, which is going to be... Solve, the instructions are all solve on these. And so it's 3x equals x plus 8. Okay, so we've got some cleanup. So this is part of that half half step, right? Clean up and then what's attached, how's it attached, do the opposite to get rid of it, right? So we don't like having variables on two sides. And we've got variables on two sides here. We need to get them together. They're like friends. They're star-crossed lovers, something. I don't know, but they are separated, and we got to bring them back together. And so in order to move something from one side of an equation to the other side, we've got to either add it or subtract it. Okay, so if we want this x right here to disappear, We'd subtract x, right? Because x minus x is 0. Now, if we do it to this side, we've got to do it to this side. It goes with that one because they're like terms, right? So those cancel. 3x minus x is 2x. And then we bring down what we haven't touched, right? Now, we've got a really simple one-step equation at this point, right? Because this 2 is multiplied onto the x. And so we're going to divide by 2 on both sides. Those twos cancel, leaving us with x equals 4. That's not so bad. Let's do one more that's a little bit more complicated. We got this. You can do it. Example 2 is going to be <coughs> excuse me, 7y plus 8 equals... 4y minus 10. Same sort of idea. We want to move this 4y over there to be with his buddy, right? And so we are going to subtract 4y on both sides. If it was negative 4y, we would add 4y, right? Because we want to do whatever's the opposite to, to move it, get rid of it, all the things, right? Negative 4y. So these cancel, leaving us with 3y on that side, plus 8 equals negative 10. The 8 is added onto the y, and so we're going to subtract 8 on both sides, minus 8, minus 8. 3y equals negative 18. Last step here, because we've got this 3 multiplied onto the y, so we're going to divide by 3, and we're going to divide by 3 over here. Those 3s cancel, leaving us with just y by itself. y by itself equals negative, watch those signs, negative 6, because 18 divided by 3 is 6. And negative divided by positive is negative. That's it. So when you have variables on both sides, we get them on one side, and then it's, it's business as usual. If you're one of my students, don't forget to do your homework. I'll see you in class, all those things. If you're not one of my students, you're a lovely human being, I assume. And if you want to see what else we're doing, you can check out emberlearninglabs.com. We have this entire pre-algebra course and the Algebra 1 course, all of these lectures available for free here on YouTube. A subscribe would really help with that, and a like wouldn't hurt either. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.